The free interface maintains local equilibrium with the temperature. The boundary condition does not include a kinetic undercooling term. The numerical algorithm is extremely robust and general and does not introduce artificial kinetic limitations. The only numerical parameters are the surface energy function and the dimensionless undercooling. With isotropic surface energy, tip splitting is the characteristic behavior. No direction is preferred. More and more fingers are produced as the seed grows. With fourfold anisotropic surface energy, large arms emerge in the preferred directions whose tips move at constant velocity. For this relatively large magnitude of surface energy, no side branches are produced in this size box. When the magnitude of the surface energy is reduced by a factor of five, side branches are generated. Notice the vestigial arms left over from the early growth period, which are overwhelmed by their neighbors growing in the preferred directions. For a planar interface, only one growth direction is possible. With isotropic surface energy, the fingers introduced in the initial data compete until only one survives. Then that one undergoes tip splitting. The screen shows three computational periods. With properly oriented fourfold anisotropy, the vertical direction is highly favored and the tips grow rapidly. With a different orientation of anisotropy, the vertical direction is hindered. The tips split and form dendritic arms growing diagonally. Notice the small bumps which disappear. For bumps of this shape, total surface energy is approximately linear rather than quadratic in bump height.